Anemia is the most common blood disorder. Anemia occurs when you do not have enough red blood cells or when your red blood cells do not function properly. It is diagnosed when a blood test shows a hemoglobin value of less than 13.5 grams per deciliters in a man or less than 12 grams per deciliters in a woman. Red blood cells carry hemoglobin, which is an iron-rich protein that attaches to oxygen in the lungs and carries oxygen to tissues throughout the body. When you have anemia, your body lacks oxygen, so you may experience one or more of the following symptoms. Weakness, shortness of breath, dizziness, fast or irregular heartbeat, pounding, or whooshing in your ears, headache, cold hands or feet, pale or yellow skin, and chest pain. Many people are at risk for anemia because of poor diet, intestinal disorders, chronic diseases, infections, and other medical conditions. Women who are menstruating or pregnant and people with chronic medical conditions are most at risk for this disease. The risk of anemia increases as people grow older. Now, let's talk about some common types of anemia. Iron deficiency anemia. Iron deficiency anemia is the most common type of anemia. It happens when you do not have enough iron in your body. Iron deficiency is usually due to blood loss, but may occasionally be due to poor absorption of iron. Pregnancy and childbirth consume a great deal of iron and thus can result in pregnancy-related anemia. People who had gastric bypass surgery for weight loss or other reasons, may also be iron deficient due to poor absorption. Vitamin deficiency anemia. This type of anemia may result from low levels of vitamin B12 or folate, also known as folic acid, usually due to poor dietary intake. Pernicious anemia is a condition in which vitamin B12 cannot be absorbed in the gastrointestinal tract. Aplastic anemia. It is a rare bone marrow failure disorder in which the bone marrow stops making enough blood cells. This occurs as a result of destruction or deficiency of blood-forming stem cells in your bone marrow, in particular, when the body's own immune system attacks the stem cells. However, the few blood cells that bone marrow make are normal. Viral infections, ionizing radiation, and exposure to toxic chemicals or drugs can also result in aplastic anemia. Hemolytic anemia occurs when red blood cells are broken up in the bloodstream or in the spleen. Hemolytic anemia occur may be due to mechanical causes, infections, autoimmune disorders, or congenital abnormalities in the red blood cell. Inherited abnormalities may affect the hemoglobin or the red blood cell structure or function. Examples of inherited hemolytic anemias include some types of thalassemia and low levels of enzymes, such as glucose 6-phosphate dehydrogenase deficiency. The treatment will depend on the cause of disease. Sickle cell anemia. It is an inherited hemolytic anemia in which the hemoglobin protein is abnormal, causing the red blood cells to be rigid and clog the circulation because they are unable to flow through small blood vessels. Anemia of chronic diseases. Some chronic diseases can affect the body's ability to make red blood cells. For example, some patients with kidney disease develop anemia because the kidneys are not making enough of the hormone called erythropoietin to signal the bone marrow to make new or more red blood cells. Chemotherapy used to treat various cancers often impairs the body's ability to make new red blood cells, and anemia often results from this treatment. So, that's all about various types of anemia. Hope you like this video. Keep sharing and keep supporting. Thank you.